Ew. <laughs> my only scripture I knew, the Lord's, uh, our Father, <laughs> and John 3.16, that was like that. What's that? John 3.16, what's that? I am my Father, I want That's what's that. What's that? Say your Father. Our Father, our Father. Yeah, only you know, y'all know. Yeah. Finish but, it. <laughs> my pastor at that time, after teaching us in class, he was like, yo, you trying to let this blood with me? No. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? Wait. 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 Don't piggyback off of the Don't piggyback. Bolo. 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 They don't say. They. Give me. This is why, you know? That's why. Okay, I'm in church, so let me put on my best. Mm -hmm. It's like you're stiff necked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Yeah. I can't even. That, that one is the gym. That one yeah. is the gym. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, CK fam? Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Boys and Girls. It's your host, Yvonne, and we're going to introduce you to the gang. It's Val. My name is Sen. Hi, it's Nana. Hey, y'all. My name is Clifford. Yo, I'm Gozi. Hey, I'm Henry. Hi, guys. I'm Alicia. It's your boy, Theo. Hey, it's Molly. Hey, I'm Dave. <laughs> so, the first question um, for today is, what were your first impressions about Christianity? I think for me, I didn't, my first impression was really so much so of like what you couldn't do as a Christian. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know the benefits of being in Christ. So I mostly thought about, hey, you couldn't have sex before marriage, you can't go to wild parties. But I didn't understand until later on in my walk um, the benefits of being a, in sonship. So that's pretty much my first impression. Mm, my first impression was like how it was fed to me by my parents was more so you just gotta do this so that you could go to heaven. <laughs> yo, yo, that's bad. Heaven. Yeah. It's heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. hell. <laughs> it gives you really one or the other. So it was just like, okay, bet. All I gotta do is make sure that I confess this thing. And I didn't really, I, I wasn't really told like the implications of character or anything like that. Yeah. So it was just, you know, you do this part, you go in front of the church, everybody claps for you. You spit the bars they tell you to spit. And then, you know, you go about your day, don't have sex. They always told you oh, that. Oh, that. That was it. So I kind of, felt like, kind of felt like if I did, step one, give my life to Christ. Step two, don't have sex. I'm good. I'm going to heaven. Mm -hmm. That was my first impression. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. There you wrong. But don't have sex. That one is right. <laughs> <laughs> that one is right. Uh, I don't think that was wrong, though. There's more to it than just just a little part of it. So I think it was more legal. <laughs> <laughs> he disagrees. <laughs> I respectfully disagree though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was. I think it was just more legalistic ideas yeah. instead of like the relationship mm -hmm. with Christ. Mm -hmm. Definitely like religion. Yeah, yeah. Like, very religious. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Well, I'll say so. Um, I didn't really have. What's the, hmm, like, I didn't grow up Christian, mm -hmm. per se, like, I wasn't saved. You I was mean, a Muslim? <laughs> no. Oh, no. hey. 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 Love hey. Love <laughs> I know y'all fast is coming, but no. <laughs> no, but like, you know, it was just, you know, as a kid, you just followed your, your parents or whoever to church. And that was it. And most of the time, I was even knocked out in the church. So it's like, yeah. I I really had no um, idea of what Christianity was. So when I um, first got to church, or even before I gave my life to Christ, when I was like, okay, I know now. It was just like, okay, this is lit. You know, Heike, you like, you really on fire. Like when you kind of get exposed to everything, and you're like, yo, like this is tough. Like you know, a lot of things are happening, and you know, then you come down. And then that's when, you It'd know. Be like that. Start off on fire. <laughs> that life is like. You want everybody to be saved. Right? Right. People be like, you know, you know Jesus loves you. You know, like, you know, you know, you know all of that. You feel know, me? So, you know, it started it start hitting you for real. Like, when it really, really settles. And it's like, you know, dang, like, I'm Christian, you know. And then you, you have to come to terms for the fact that, like, being Christian is harder than it looks. You know, like, when you actually, um. But you actually apply yourself and apply like the rules is like a like a better word like you know but like the principles, the principles yeah, yes yeah. the principles of being Christian and how you gotta it's it's very um I don't want to say demanding but it's like you it's it is yeah yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's demanding you know and 
and and I feel like like we have to a lot of us have to kind of like separate you know because it's like you can you're a christian as like a title and that's that's what i was seeing christians as titles yeah, but like you know they're doing everything else yeah. whereas it's like okay when i like finally got to the understanding of what a christian is and what you should do and i'm like dang like you know them people out there i don't think they're christians for real like because if you got to do this oh you know you're in for a treat but it's, it's fun like the highs are the highs the lows aren't really too low because you will get high again like it's yeah Absolutely. I feel like um, when I first became a Christian, I feel like my relationship with God was very performance based. Like I just had to do good, um, especially growing up, being the eldest daughter in a Nigerian household, um, your expectations in school, your expectations in the family. I just came before God like I have to do everything right. Like I have to make sure I don't sin. I have to make sure I please him. And it led to a very miserable walk because when I would fall short, when I would sin, which was often, um, I would condemn myself. And I thought God was pleased that I was putting myself down so bad. I thought this was what he wanted. Um, but like Cynthia said, like when you get to that point where you're in a love relationship with the Father, we no longer, I no longer operated from that place of performance. Yeah. I was just able to be. Mm -hmm. I was able to rest. Mm -hmm. I was able, right, it was a new sense of identity. Um, and it was a place where I could really just be myself and allow for God to do that work in my heart um, and do the transforming process. Because as much as we like to think, it's us that changes ourselves, it's mm -hmm. us that, you know, um, makes things happen. It's, it's really God who works in us. Um, and he perfects us. Amen. Yeah. She just finished the video, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I actually want to say, um, one thing I always find ironic is that I feel like the older generation, they introduced Christianity to our generation like some type of curriculum to follow. Right, right. You know, I feel like they introduced like their experience time. more than yeah. even Christianity. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, sure. whereas, you know, we're being taught intimacy. We're being taught relationship. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, it was more so by works. If you mm -hmm. pray, this will happen. Mm -hmm. If you're being good, this will happen. If you're doing that, you, this will happen. Cause and that's, why, and that's yeah. why when you go out into the real world, when you go out into college or high school, whatever, and then you happen you're ready to, to go. Sin, oh when you God. happen to fall into sin and nothing happens, it's just like, oh, oh nothing happened. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. I, there are like loopholes in this. Whereas now we're growing up and we're finding Christ for ourselves and we're learning that there's it's deeper, that God is not a magician of some sort. No, no. It's not you pray and he reaches out his hand and it's done. Faith um, is dead. We get yeah. to know him, we get to understand that it's not just by our words, yeah. mm -hmm. that the the good that we do is just well, how much this this much. It does it's not what makes brings us into the kingdom of heaven. And we get to learn as well that like in this walk that we are allowed to make mistakes here. He already died for these mistakes. Right. Mm -hmm. We get to learn about the grace that has already been extended right. to us. And I think that um that's where the like the line, the wall is drawn between like the older generation and why it was so hard for us to really pick up on why they wanted us to be at church every Sunday. Yeah. Because I'm just seeing you I grew up in a house where it was very routine. You know, we mm -hmm. wake up, we pray, we recite the same thing at night, 8 p.m. We're praying again, exactly. we're reciting the same thing. And it was just like, it's just giving routine, like, does Jesus really care that we're doing this? Yeah. You know? Because right, right. they don't even seem like you care. Like, we, I know this off, like, off head now, mm -hmm. and I don't, it doesn't mean anything to me, you know? But um, right. I love that, you know, we are a generation that we can actually teach our future generations that we're going to produce intimacy in Christ, relationship, mm -hmm. getting to know him, understanding that each and every relationship is different. Mm. So, yeah. That's so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that for me, I can also like relate with Yvonne in the sense that like being the, the oldest child, mm -hmm. like you had to live out to some kind of expectation. So it's like you go to church and, okay, I'm in church, so let me put on my best. Mm -hmm. It's like you're stiff necked. <laughs> it's like yeah. I can't even. That, that one is the gym. That one. Yeah. Is the gym. <laughs> the stiff neck is the gym. Yeah, they say work out for salvation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then you come back home and it's like, ah, I can be myself now. That's crazy. Wow. That's the thing. Yeah. That's, 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 that's crazy. Like, okay, I, 
crackhead. I used to go to parties after church. parties from church, like from church to the party. Hey. 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 Hey.
when when I even became Christian, I, I didn't, I basically, I was starting from scratch because I, I didn't know nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I didn't know, I mean, as much as I knew about Bible was like, the book of Bible stories. I don't know, you know. If you, if yeah, you know, you're, right. you know, you know. Right. <laughs> the book of Bible yeah, stories. That, like that, that was you know. it, man. My only scripture I knew, the Lord's, uh, our Father, <laughs> and John 3.16. That was like, that. What's that? John 3.16, what's that? I am my father, I want to. That's what they say. Your father, but that's our father, yeah, he's only begotten. You know, y'all know, y'all know. Finish but, it. Finish but, it. But, <laughs> you can never finish the verse. But you know, um, I know a lot of people like. You know, like you know how pastor is like, oh, you have to like unlearn and then relearn. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't feel like I personally went through that because I didn't know anything. Yeah. You know, and my first church was All Nations, like great church. You know, like I didn't go through like Such the church. I uh, know, right? I didn't go through like church hopping. I didn't go through, you know, I didn't go through any church hurt or like, oh, this this my church and Christians did it or did not. You know, so to be like my very first exposure to. Like Christianity. Christianity and like good like um, fellowship and stuff was the church that I'm, I'm in now, um, yeah. all nations. So I'm like, I consider myself very, very lucky because, yeah, yeah, yeah amen. Because man, I hear stories, I'm like, dang, like, yeah, y'all have to go, yeah, y'all have to go through all of that. And I'm like, the only thing I knew was when I came into all nations and I'm like learning everything and it was making sense, they break it down yeah. for you know, and I'm like, yo, this, okay, like. This is something that like is sinking in. This is something that I'm like being receptive to, and I can actually follow it. Whereas you know a lot of other churches, you know, and then there's like other de denominations as well, and you're like, yo, they're just tossing you, and like uh, it's very legalistic, and you know, a lot of people can talk about their own church experiences to uh, like up to the point where they found like a good church and I'm like, yo, I can't relate. Like, <laughs> because yeah, my church, <laughs> listen, my church, like I was, I was in the world and then I found my church and that was it. You know, like <laughs> I didn't. Such a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> because of them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, because they was in my dorm just chatting. You would be saved. <laughs> that was our attitude. She would be saved. Man, so Dave, um, I want to hear from you. Yes, yeah, he's been real quiet. <laughs> Those of them in the Bible. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting to all of them. And Alicia, I ain't here nothing. Word. Yes. What, what, were your, what were your first impressions? Did you grow up in church? Like, how, how did that happen? So, happened? yeah, I grew up in church just right off the jump. Uh, so, <laughs> but one thing, though, that I'll say, like, that I'm really thankful for now is, like, I think I got, like, a very, like, sheltered, like, I don't know, like, my dad really, like, sat me down and, like, explained a lot of things to me, like, at a young age. Like, they, my parents poured a lot of wisdom mm. into me young. So, a lot of these things, like, I was already expecting for them to happen. So, they weren't, uh, it wasn't a surprise to me to see people two-faced in church, mm. in, no matter what position they were in, mm. you know. So, it didn't really shock me that much. I, it was expected. Right. So what was your perception of God now? Oh God, I mean, now I'm, mm -hmm. my perception was just it's a personal relationship okay. from start to finish. And yeah. the church is a community that I'm just a part of. But at the end of the day, it's you personal. And God. It's you and it's God. You and God. Right. Wow. That's good. Mm -hmm. No? Um, I think for me, well, my walk kind of started with like living for acceptance and so like even like before God it was like with people like if I'm doing right with people by people I'm following you know all of this and people are pleased then God must also be pleased and so I think it moved from that to like living for acceptance to living from acceptance when I had like you know my personal encounter and I realized like wait before anything I really like belong to God you know what I'm saying I'm his like when he said it is finished, it was really finished. And so like, I moved from like, my life now being a response to what he's already done. So it's not like I'm doing this for acceptance, but I'm doing this because like, that's why my bio says like, because he first loved me, but because like he, he started this whole thing. And so my life can only be a response to what he's that's already good. done. That's so good. She's deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Theo. <laughs> he knows he was about to talk right, next. Right, <laughs> okay, Theo, what was your first impression?
first impression of Christianity? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Because, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I didn't know the church. Mm -hmm. I didn't know God, but I believed in God. Mm. So, it was kind of like, I didn't know like something of like a relationship existed. I just know like, oh, God is there. He's good. Evil is there. They're bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a story. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I just knew I just wanted to be good. Yeah. I didn't hate Muslims. I didn't hate the other people. Right. But I just knew you just have to believe in God. So I was like, I knew I was Christian, but I wasn't walking that path. Yeah. Not like I was walking a bad path, but like, you know, as I got to, you know, coming to church, that's when I knew how to really become a Christian effectively. Yeah, that's So like, right. you know, praying, fasting, reading your Bible sometimes. And, um, <laughs> yeah, just living it. So I was saying, it, it's kind of like a weird thing for me, but we just thank God I'm here. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Right. Piggyback off of the. Don't piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> Say your own. Say your own. I'm a piggyback and I don't care. <laughs> um, let me stop. Um, real Christianity or fake Christianity? Because yeah, I talk about it. Both, 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 um, both of the both two. Fake yeah. Christianity. Y'all know I used to be SDA. That's Seventh Day Adventist. Oh. So um, I grew up SDA. My whole family is still Seventh Day Adventist. Um, the difference is really just that you go to church on Saturday. No, it's a big difference. You can't wear pants. A whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. I digress. <laughs> but it was real. It, it was really just religion and no relationship, if I'm being honest. So, like, it was performance-based, which I touched on. Um, I had to go there and I had to perform. Like, to sing on stage, I couldn't wear nails, couldn't wear weave. Like, even weave, they'd be like, I remember when I was getting baptized, they were like, you need to take your box braids out. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, it wasn't even my choice. I digress. Let's talk about real Christianity. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, real Christianity was when I came to All Nations. Oh, of course. Um, it was it was lit until it wasn't. You know, I was on fire. We was praying in the upper room every Monday. Things was good. And then I feel like people don't talk about how you have to confront yourself in Christianity. Mm. And you really have to do the work. Like, oh it's really a work that needs to be done. But... Yeah, I remember you asked um, Yvonne, what was the switch? Yeah. So like when Henry was saying like the switch from like people faking to understanding that this is like, you know, this is the real thing. And Pastor always says like the church is a hospital. So like when you understand that everybody's sick, it's kind of like, okay, I understand. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not expecting anybody to come here and be perfect. Right. Yeah. So you shouldn't expect me to come here and be perfect. So. Yeah. I feel like that has really been my experience, just understanding, being understanding, people understanding me, people accepting me the way I am, and just us, you know, confronting things that we have to deal with, uprooting things, all of that jazz. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'll talk. I didn't talk. <laughs> um, for me, way even before I came to our nations, I went through so many weird transitions. Um, so, I grew up in a Catholic, Anglican, you too. Yeah, yeah I, you too. <laughs> I grew up in a Definitely Catholic a Catholic. Anglican church, so I was in church every day, mm. literally. Every day. Monday I went to church, Tuesday I went to church, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday. I, was, I grew up as a mass servant, so I was like literally one of those people who was holding the candles, walked before the priest come and all that. And then I think like probably at the age of seven and I joined the choir and I stopped being a mass servant. So I was just in church. Just going because my family really is rooted in church. Now, I'll go to church during those days, and then when I go to school, I went to SDA school as well. So, it was a whole lot of things that I couldn't do in school because it was an SDA school. Um, that's when I learned to make sure that I'm wearing belt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to make sure that my haircut was on point. If this shoe wasn't white like this, I'll be in trouble. Wow. It was a whole lot of things that they said go get about. And stuff like that, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, now it's helping me, you know. If I iron my stuff a certain way, it was going to be a problem. Like, all those things. So it was a lot of um, rules for me um, in my um, Anglican church and, you know, in SD going to school. And then um, that time I was just following him. But what I did have is that I had, like, just like him too. I, like, my grandparents really, like, was always telling me what Christianity looks like. I saw it also at home. Mm -hmm. And I come from a family where, like, I, was, I would see, like, them actually do it. Like almost everybody in my, 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 all my uncles are probably like all the day now, probably like two of them. So like it was just something I was used to in terms of 
this is what's supposed to happen. Like, just like Theo, I just, I didn't see, I wasn't really like, oh, I'm living the, the word. Like, I just, I was just trying to be good. Like, I wasn't done, I wasn't doing anything bad. Like, I was just chilling, living life. And then when I came here, I came to a Methodist church and it felt the same way. It felt like I was just in routine and the choir. I didn't really have a relationship with God. And then when I came to All Nations, it moved from all these years of just doing church serving mm. to I had an encounter um, with God. So that was my switch. Uh, my switch was when I went to camp and I saw all these young people praying. And I, I used to um, really mock people that this whole Christianity stuff, when they pray for you, is fake. So, like, I laugh at my friends, then I'm like, yo, y'all be lying, son. Like, right. there's no way you falling on the floor because somebody's praying for you. Like, I was that. Faithful like, enough. even when I came to One Nations, I remember I would say to the youth, some of the youth, some of them are not even here now. But I will say to them, this is fake. So I went to camp, pastor was praying for people. I was like, I'm not going up there. So I stood at the back, and I didn't want to go up there. And then long story short, basically, God touched me. It felt like I got picked up from this side of the room to that side of the room. Mm-hmm. And all I heard was a small voice, do you believe me now? I never, I like, I was shaking. I think I was shaking until they took me home. Everybody else at the camp that day. The camp, that was the first day of the camp. That was when my grand, grandmother died that same day. I got, I got saved. I had an encounter. I was still shaking until I went home from the camp. I got home. I was having all these encounters. And for me, my shift had been encounters, like knowing that, because I used to doubt it a lot. And God really gave me encounters and those encounters. I remember, like, literally Jesus appeared in my room. I'll never forget. Wow. He said, look at me. The more I looked at him, the taller he kept getting and then I, it just kept getting brighter. And I just put my head on. I just felt so much like a sin. I couldn't look at him. And I would just, I'd just be crying. I have all these encounters writing down. I didn't understand them. And for me, it's like, you can't get those encounters and not believe. Yeah. And I believe that I'm that real. Because I knew God was there based on service, but it wasn't nothing real for me to see. Right? And so after that, that was the spiritual aspect of it. Then I realized I'm a human being. Like, I have a soul. Um, Clifford, you have some things you want to work on. And then all nations related to the teachings and yeah. all that. But the last thing I'll say on that is that I really, when I came to all nations, I come from an Anglican church. Like I said, like in our church, we don't make noise. Mm. We stand up, we sit down. If we read for singing, we'll stand up to sing. We'll sit down. You don't cross in front of the pastor. You don't do none of that stuff. Like really order. Mm. When I come to all nations, all these people making noise. I'm like they're yeah. weird. Mm. Like I cu- I came to church. I'm like yo, why are you so loud? Like you gotta say amen to everything. Like like. like, like no, it, it was so too. weird to me, like when people got loud in church and all that. So that was kind of mine. And all of a sudden, I became one of them. Now I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I make noise. Now when I do it, some of my family members look at me like I'm weird. But it's okay. I love it. Yeah. So, yeah. It was um, even when I first came to All Nations, I was I was a little overwhelmed. Not like you know everybody was cool. I knew some people was that weird. I was in the world with. Child. I was like, oh, so this is where you at? Like, <laughs> oh, I, word. I was like, oh, so this is where you ended up. Oh, okay, cool. You know. So I didn't really feel like a stranger, but I was like, like this this is it's a lot to take in though. Like you know how like young people are on fire for God, how they can be themselves, and I'm like, wow, like so this this is like. This is where it is. And you know, like how, like, in relationships, everybody go through, like, the honeymoon phase. You know, I feel like even with Christianity, it's the same thing. We all go through, like, the honeymoon phase as being, like, new, born-again Christians. And we're like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's sweet. Yo, what? It's sweet. Yo, like, when when I first got saved and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, you know, you, like, you confess and stuff and I'm like man this is tough like, <laughs> I like that I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like start fighting me till till you know and it's like and I feel like that's also a conversation that we don't really get to talk about because a lot of yeah. since it's like a lot of um it's very yeah. performance based we only show like the 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 nice parts oh, yeah. of Christianity. We don't show like the scars. We don't show the fact that we're literally like being peeled like layers and layers and layers. You know, it's like you really gotta like you're undoing you, you yourself. You gotta die to yeah, yourself. Yeah, you gotta yeah, die. 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 It's all about dying. What? Like, <laughs> dying to yourself. Man, your your old <laughs> ideas, your thoughts, your processes, your everything. Mental, it's everything. like everything about Christianity. It's kind of like a bum rush. It's like a high. Like. <laughs> When like when you start like dreaming a lot, or when you start like seeing things or hearing things, and you're praying, or even when you get your tongues, it's kind of yeah. like, yo, this is tough, <laughs> touchable, you know. And then you get smacked down. It's like, hey, it's kind of yeah. low down here, you know, yeah. it's a little lonely, you know. But I mean, not lonely because it's like there's still, you know, even 
the, the 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 great thing about Christianity is like you they like you're expected to fall like with no ju without judgment you feel me and you still have people that will reach down and help you back up like you you know whereas like if you're in the world you're just like down by yourself like there's like what what, what how are they gonna help you what are they gonna do you know at least I have people around me that community. yeah I have the community I can like rely on I can depend on I can speak to because they've probably been where I'm at. You feel me? You're not gonna, gonna be like the only new born again person. Like, there's gonna be somebody after you that's gonna go through the same thing, you know, you go through. So now, as I'm like maturing and stuff, I'm like, my experiences are not even just my own, you know. Like, when I go through stuff, I'm like, okay, like, I'll take it, you know, because it's not just for me. It's, you know, somebody else gonna come around and it's like, oh yeah, I went through that girl, you're gonna be all right, you know, I'm here, you know. It's like, you, you go through stuff for other people, you know. All right, that was such a great discussion. I want to thank you all for tuning into this video. Feel free to like, subscribe so you can get more of this, and comment down below what your first impression of Christianity was. Thanks. All right, till next time. Bye. 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 Bye.